Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Amber by Demon Gorgon. <laughs> ah, Demon Risen, I've seen stranger names than that. Cave here, apparently one of her employees was out walking the dog the other day, at least that's what he told me, when their dog just happened to dig up a lump of fossilized amber. Now, if you ask me, it sounds like he was doing an archaeological dig without a license. You know what happens if you do that? You get fired, and then buried underground. Your dog does too. If he even exists. Point is, inside the amber was a vicious little mosquito, which, according to the lab boys, contains traces of dinosaur DNA. Which dinosaur? Who knows? But Greg tells me that somehow there's enough DNA in that whiny little scamp, the mosquito, not Greg, to clone a whole menagerie of dinos. I've never said that word before. Uh, menagerie? I think it's menagerie. Yeah, to clone a whole menagerie of dinos. Various government officials have warned us that doing such a thing could be very dangerous. But, luckily, one of them was eaten by our prototype Diplodocus... Sorry, Diplodocus Rex. And the others are all too traumatized to say anything. And that cleaned things up nicely. And it's clear there are no ethical concerns to people who aren't suck-up bureaucrats. So we've decided to go ahead. So, coming soon to an Aperture Science near you, as long as you live in Michigan, is an awe-inspiring dinosaur-themed attraction we've decided to call Jurassic... No, wait a minute. Land of Jurassic Era dinosaurs, which are great for, great fun for the whole family, but may bite your head off. Perfect. Oh, a funeral for the government official is next week, by the way. Dino themed, of course. Cave Johnson, we're done here. Hmm, this this alternate cave is very different from the normal Cave Johnson that we're used to. Anyway. Amber is a medium-difficulty monoportal map focused on careful planning and timing. The puzzle is not execution-based, but may require fairly quick reactions in some areas. Most people will probably be absolutely fine, but please let me know if you have difficulties. Amber is quite different from anything I've done before, so feedback is very much appreciated. Difficulty, medium, music, bring your daughter to work on micro screen. Yes, so, fair warning, when I read long, uh, descriptions like this, it typically causes my audio to desync, so if that is happening right now, or if it happens in a moment, you've been warned and there's nothing I can do about it. The OBS devs have blamed it on my processor, and I might be getting a new one eventually. But, hopefully the audio does not mess up. There's nothing I can do about it if it does mess up, fortunately. Amber. Mostly just killing time in case the audio decides to mess up. Because it usually fixes itself after a bit. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a mono portal map. I, did I not even- did I read that and not even say anything about it? Yeah, it says mono portal map right there. How did I- Man, I was in reading mode, I just read that and didn't even think about it. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Let me through the portal, please. What? Did that- does that button do something else I'm not aware of? Why was that on such a long timer? Oh, I see why it's on such a long timer. Yes. Okay. Because we want it to be on this button long enough for us to get back over here. Yes, clever. Nice introductory room, Demon Risen. There we go, plenty of time. Excellent. So this is our exit condition, just two cubes of- ...over here. And that should be enough. Interesting, so... Interesting. We're gonna eventually have a funnel. Not sure which kind of funnel just yet, but we will eventually have it. Let's try going over there. Ah, reversed funnel. Wait, what? Oh right, because I put my portal there. <laughs> I was like, is there another funnel? Nope. Because I put my portal there. Silly me. I wonder... No, that's too far to jump. Way too far to jump. Hmm... Where do I actually need to go? Was there something down here I missed? No.
Well, what am I doing? Is there, like, a cube over here I didn't see, or...? Oh, I'd have to press the thing up there to even get that to happen. Oh, I can just- yeah, I can go up there and see what's up there, duh. I'm an idiot. What's up here? Ah, location to fling myself from. Excellent, that makes things make a lot more sense. Let's see here. Um... I want to have a portal... there. Ish. Kinda. Can't tell how centered that is. That might be centered. Who knows. And BAM! Hey, I was- I was close. So... Now, how do I get the cube? <laughs> I probably fling out of this portal surface now, right? Yeah. That would be my guess. Why did I turn around? <laughs> Hey! Landed on the cube itself. Fancy that. There we go. And then... Now we can get both cubes by shooting a portal there. Gotcha. So, back up there it is. It's like you save here. There we go. Whee! And then... Yeah, I have to press the button and then run over and do that. Should be simple enough. That should get us both cubes. Ta-da! Oh, I have to step on the button too. Yeah. Don't let me forget that. <laughs> there's one cube, and there's two cubes. Excellent. Get over here! <laughs> Why did one of them go somewhere- oh yeah, because one of them was higher, duh. That makes sense. That's- that's kind of how physics works, isn't it? Yes. I wonder what these are for. Probably to prevent us from, like, sucking a cube off this button, but to still have portal surfaces at ground level. That would be my guess. Alright, so now we have to get back. Oh, I might have done this wrong. I might have done this... slightly wrong. I think I did this wrong. <laughs> uh, hmm... I think I still wanted one cube up there... Yeah, I did this wrong. So let's see here. Ta-da! Get that cube in here, excellent. Go back up there, that's not where I wanted to go. Go back up there, there we go. So. I think I have to change where the funnel's oriented after I get the first cube in. And that should... sort of work. It's like, when the second cube's coming in right underneath the dropper, I need to switch the portal to there instead, basically. So let's do this again. And... go through here. And then... press this button. There we go. There's that cube in. And... this cube. Excellent. Perfect. Come over here. I'll just set you right there for now. As for that one, I need to position it first. 
almost jumped into the portal for no reason. There we go. Put that cube there. And then, this is where things get interesting. So this is where the exit is. Hmm. There's no way to unreverse the funnel. It's just a reversed funnel, period. I think. Oh no. Oh no! I sure hope the timing is right, but I think what I have to do... Since that dropper drops onto land, and this one doesn't... I think I have to press the button... Ride the funnel up... So I have to press the button, I have to shoot the portal surface there... I have to ride the funnel up, and then it's gonna drop me... When the cubes respawn, and I can grab this cube. But I have to have the timing... right for that. I'm just gonna have to hope and rely that the timing is correct. I think that's what this down here was talking about. May require fairly quick reactions in some areas. Maybe. So. Let's actually put this guy on this side. Head up here. And then we'll save up here. Uh huh. And. Run, 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 run. And now we just hope to not die. Or not grab the cube. Oh yes! Grab the cube! Excellent, the timing worked out. Excellent, excellent. That was cool. I like that, Demon Risen. Very nice work. Alright. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Sorry for any audio distinct, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!